there's what we call inequality. So in economics, we we'll talk about poverty inequality. We talk about uh, external negative externalities where they bring about uneven distribution of wealth. Inequality. So inequality in mathematical terms can be represented in symbols. Like when you have a, an arrow or a symbol that is left hand, uh, like when you do your left hand anyway, you see that it's a left hand. So it's telling you that it's a less than symbol, and this one is a less than or equal to symbol, and this one is a greater than when you use your right hand and just do your elbow like this, you see that it's the greater. Then you have greater than or equal to. So these are the different kind of symbols you find in uh, uh, inequalities. So in inequalities, we have properties of inequalities. We have solving inequalities problem. So that's the introduction. So just the introduction of inequality. So what inequality means, what it holds, the various uh, kind of signs you can find. And in this case, you can see that x is the power of two is greater than or equal to zero. So that also represents a, an inequality situation. So the solutions of an inequality, such as minus two x plus six is greater than zero, are the values of x for which this expression minus two x plus six is greater than zero. So whatever we have here must not be three. X must not be three. Because if x is 3 here in this equation, then this is no more greater than 0 because you have 2 times 3, which will give minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. And this part of that equation, when x is equal to 3, will not hold for x for it being greater than 0. Unless, unless we have x is uh, lower. So if I have x as 1, it means that when we multiply minus 2 times 1, we get minus 2. And minus 2 plus 6 will now be 4, which is greater than 0. So in that case, we are, this thing will not be. So we have properties of inequality, that is the trichotonomy and the transitivity properties. Trichotonomy properties just have to do with when you say when you say x is less than y, then x is equal to y, then x is greater than y. These are the only three situation you must find in this relationship because at this point x is less than y and less than y and at this point x is equal to y and at that point x is greater than y so trans transitivity property is there how to trans uh, transcribe how transcribe yeah those various uh, signs so these are properties that are of importance to Anybody, any economy. So we have addition and subtraction. So in this case, you can have if x is less than y, then x plus z must also be less than x plus z. Yeah, sorry, y plus z. So we also you can have subtraction properties of inequality where we also you know look at the various uh, uh, signs. In the negative form. So solving inequality inequalities, they can be they can be inequality problems. Like in this case, you say find the solution of the inequality where seven minus x is less than or equal to nine. So solution. Let's start by moving the seven to the right hand side. You know, when you try to move seven to the right hand side, as it crosses this side, it changes to a negative. So we now have it as uh, uh, 9 minus 7, where we still have our minus x is less than or equals to 2. So how do we get rid of the negative side in front? By just doing the multiplication or by dividing through by a negative side. So when we divide through by a negative sign, the symbol of the inequality now changes to become greater as a result of the fact that we have divided up through by a negative sign get rid of the negative side. So that's why this symbol is changing from less than or equals to to greater than or equals to the that equation. So that's how to solve inequality problems. So like in this case, we say 10 y plus 5 is less than 13. So meaning that 
we have 10, so means that we bring 5 to the other side of the equation, we now have that 13 minus 5 will now give us 8, so it means that 10y is less than 8. So to get rid of the 10 in front of the y, we divide everything by 10. So you divide everything by 10, this sign will change as a result of the division, and then we now have y is less than 0 0.8. So that's the answer to that uh, inequality problem. So it's just the same case all through, all through, all through, all through this part. So dividing both sides of the inequality by 7, I like that this point. So then there's a graph that can be used to express this inequality in a graphical form, which is what has been done here. So if you look at this graph, you will see that there's a graph, the diagram that shows the relationship between numbers, graphs, array, numerical information into a picture from which it is often possible to see overall patterns or trends in the information. So graphs can also be used to exhibit inequalities, like in this case. So you see that this is an inequality graph. Well, this graph is a bit higher than the downer half of it. So this is an inequality graph. So this can be, you know, can be observed. So you see that yeah, we have this, and then, sorry, we have this, and then so, so we can use the trend. So graph can also be used to exhibit inequalities, which is which has been explained here. So they come in 7.1, which is this curve, or this graph, the parabola of y is equal to x squared minus 1, which is the same thing we have as the So one including the curve is the graph of the inequality of y is greater than x is to the power of 2 minus 1. So you see that we can use the graph to exhibit the inequality sign here, so you see that the graph here is not equal to the inequality in that graph. So that's what it represents. So thank you for listening to this, and uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this session of the course. And thank you.